Okay. Uh, uh, thank you. See, uh, I uh, will present not my paper, but paper written by Alex Lieber. Unfortunately, he is not able uh, to participate by personal reason. And uh, his paper was published in Tobacco Control, so you can read the full version uh, online. Uh, and I present just a short version of this paper, main conclusions. Uh, the idea is that uh, heated tobacco products uh, have received uh, reduced tax rates than combustible cigarettes. And um, the idea is, let's imagine that smokers are rational creatures. I understand it's hard to do, but let's try it. So, and they decided to save some money by switching from combustible cigarettes to uh, HTP, especially as they know that taxes are lower. So the study sought to determine if HTPs are cheaper to use than combusted cigarettes when the cost of purchasing of an expensive heated device upfront was considered. So as my first comments, actually the HTP sticks have only 0.3 grams of tobacco and average cigarettes has 0.75 grams of tobacco. So these sticks for heats should be 2.5 uh, times cheaper because they, just because they have less tobacco. So let's see what's actually happened with that. So the matter. Uh, it's, uh, Alex Lieber defines the payback period is the number of days of pack a day smokers. So it's a person who smoked 20 cigarettes of HTP sticks a day would have to exclusively use HTPs to recoup the cost of buying the heated device. Uh, the difference in price between equivalent amounts of co-branded cigarettes. So he compared not with average price cigarettes, not with cheap cigarettes, but with expensive cigarettes which have the similar price. And um, was divided the price uh, of HTP device to obtain the payback period measured in day. As payback period was determined uh, to never be reached, if it was longer than uh, 365 days. Why? Because it's expected lifetime of the device. So after one year, this is iPhone's device should be thrown away. Like as everybody of you has an uh, old uh, mobile telephone which is no longer used. It's the same as such devices. And uh, he uh, reviewed uh, uh, 34 countries for four years. And uh, what's the results? high initial purchase cost makes HTP more expensive to use than combusted cigarettes in most countries. So tobacco companies have stored and received lower excise taxes for HTP compared with conventional cigarettes. That would theoretically make their products cheaper. If they say that it's reduced risk, of course, they can encourage smokers to switch it to uh, less reduced risk, making it then cheaper, but they are not. So this cross-country study mostly found otherwise. The tax spreads are not yielding lower retail price. We can assume that the tax savings are being reinvested into elevated research, development, production, and marketing. So in many countries, we hear very expensive marketing campaign for heated tobacco products. They use money from low taxes to market these cigarettes. Or can make, simply can make uh, higher profits. And I use the same methods as Alex Lieber's just to compare prices of cigarettes and uh, HTP in three countries. That's my own country, Ukraine. Current price for HTP or ICOS sheets or law is uh, 43 grivens per pack. And similar Malbec can cigarettes, it's 45. So the difference is just to grivens. The payback period, it's you can 730. It's much less than the price of the device. But if you compare the uh, tax per pack of 20 of HTP, it's, <coughs> this is a huge difference. It's uh, three times lower. So they get a lot of money from this HTP in Ukraine and use this money for marketing campaign and extra profit. So it's no reason for rational smokers to switch uh, from cigarettes to HTP in Ukraine. Next, Russia. In Russia, the difference is really high. So if Biffin uses methods of Alex Lieber, yes, it's a sense. Uh, so if they, 
can save money if they switch from Marlboro cigarettes to hits. However, if they really care about the money, it's much, much easier way to save it. They can switch from Marlboro to Chesterfield or from Kent to Pell Mell. It's not very cheap local cigarettes. It's uh, also international brands, but just a little bit cheaper. So if it's really rational, they could and care about money, they could cheaper this. And what again? Here's a, in Russia, they have special category of heated tobacco products, but not per sticks, but per, per kilograms. And actually, the size of HTP is about something like 35 rubles and more than 60 rubles for heated tobacco cigarettes. So you see the difference in taxes, actually, the same as different in prices. So if Russian government decided to increase uh, tax of HTP to the level of cigarettes, it, the uh, payback period that would be the, the, any sense to switch and disappear. But in Russia, you see, it's um, they increased sales of, uh, it's only Philip Morris data, three billion more. But it doesn't mean that smokers all switch because sales of cigarettes Uh, decline by 7.5 billion. So part of them switch, but not everybody. So anyway, this uh, use of cigarettes of HTP combined declined in <coughs> Russia. Next country, Japan. I still already say that 85 of all HTP cigarettes sold worldwide are sold in Japan. But why? Because electronic cigarettes are effectively prohibited in Japan. It's not possible to buy electronic cigarettes, so HTP is the only alternative to combustible cigarettes in Japan. What are the prices? Pay my hits. And Marlboro, actually the same. Plum, GTI, actually the same. And uh, these devices are rather expensive, so it's no sense to switch to uh, uh, ICOS in Japan if a person wish to uh, save money. And what's the market situation in last year when we have the data? In 2018, in Japan, 10 billion ICOs sold less than in 2018. Cigarettes sales also decreased by 4 billion cigarettes. So in, uh, actually, Japanese uh, people, smokers, are really rational uh, creatures because they quit both ATP and combustible cigarettes. And <coughs> what we see with perspective, I found some media reports uh, about that. Uh, uh, it's a Bloomberg. It's British American Tobacco State. Revenue from smoking alternative will miss expectations this year and is a pessimistic outlook for the tobacco industry in new products. In Forbes, PMI blames the slower than expected ICOS growth in Japan uh, on the fact that company may have largely met the demand of so-called innovators or early adopters. Meanwhile, the more conservative older consumers are more difficult segments to capture. In September last year, uh, German uh, magazine Spiegel published a large report, you can find it online, and it says that in Germany, ICOS had a market share of only 0.4% a year after being introduced. European smokers have proven less receptive than expected, and PMI has indefinitely frozen the construction of the ICOS factor in Dresden. And in the same article, Spiegel wrote, in practice, Philip Morris isn't actually trying to liberate the vote from cigarettes. Just a part of it, namely the part with educated consumer and what's in, what's in past, who have purchasing power. So I, because smokers don't care about money. They actually are looking, we have too much money, we don't know how to spend it, oh, let's buy ICOS. That's right? so something that's a new toy. Uh, but what is uh, conclusions from this? Uh, World Health Organization made a very good report. I uh, encourage everybody to read it in full. And they have historical power. 
it shows that uh, 20 years ago, similar HTTP devices called Aporta Eclipse were issued, and all of them commercially failed. But now, what's important? Uh, what says WHO? All forms of tobacco use are harmful, including HTTP. Therefore, WHO recommends that HTTP should be subject of the same policy and regulatory measures applied to all other tobacco products in line with FCTC. So what are conclusions? HTTP are not cheaper to use than combusted cigarettes. Most HTTP users are not price sensitive. Tobacco industry uses lower HTTP excise rates for extra profits and extra marketing. There are no health reasons for lower tax rates for HTTP. Increase of HTTP <laughs> rates hardly reduce their consumption, but it can increase government revenue. So if you have contacts with Minister of Finance, say it's possible to increase taxes for HTTP and get extra revenue because they consume a state of government, they can, they can pay these taxes. They have enough money to pay it, it would be uh, not, not a big public problem. And if they can, of course, they be, would be very lucky. But uh, they should be uh, rather quick because maybe soon they disappear. So the final conclusion, the excise rates of HTTP sticks should be equal to excise rates for cigarettes. And it's already done in Georgia, small European country. They have special category for HTTP, but the rates are absolutely the same. The rates in sticks are they absolutely the same as the rates for cigarettes. Thank you. Questions, please. Um, in fact, if you look at the way they move from ICOS 2.4 to ICOS 3, and when you look at the design of the two lines, ICOS 2.4 was aimed at a kind of the geek. The, uh, it had some a look of the uh, iPhone or uh, the Apple uh, technology. Right? ICOS 3 now has a golden line and it's much more classy. And I think this is part of a, a tactic where they, they have studied very carefully the notion of innovation diffusion. And then innovation diffusion, you have early adopters. And then you have a second class of people and those establish the trend and once it's established in those who, who establish the trend, then it diffuses to the rest of the society. And probably they've decided that the segment that will play that role is kind of upper class uh, people with a certain economic state. This is part of a strategy, but the long term goal is to addict everybody. Of course. You see, it's, uh, if uh, I ask anybody in Ukraine, are you ready to pay 300? It's, uh, see, it's not the lowest. Uh, it's, uh, for some people, it's monthly income. It's price of one I cost three. Mm -hmm. So it's for poor people cannot afford just to buy it in Ukraine, in, in many other countries. So what is the point? In Japan, Japanese, all Japanese smokers don't want to buy ICOS. That's why they have declining sales. You can read it. It's data from the PMI uh, official report. Well, just another explanation for the Japanese figures is that uh, uh, it's, you know, when you read the PMI report, it's because it's stock adjustments. Yes. What they did in order to report massive uh, success of the ICOS in Japan, they shipped massive amounts of ICOS which they counted as their shipments to show the success. But in fact, those devices were shipped but not sold. And at that some stage, there were so much that they had to revise. And this explained the, the dip in 2018. Yes, yes, that's why I see for Ukraine, we have official data that almost one billion sticks were imported to Ukraine. But we don't know how many of them were sold. So I don't know what the consumption is. Yes, of course you are right that it's, but in, in, at, at least you see it's the uh, consumption trend in uh, Japan. It's at least flat. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
It's a, a remark and a question. In France, uh, ECOS, uh, its or ECOS was taxed 66% as new smoking tobacco product. And the, the box is put by uh, PMI. They put the box, yes, it's a new smoking tobacco product, and 60% of tax. So they don't sell any, a lot of them in France. I have a question because on the three major companies, Japan Tobacco uh, and uh, BAP and BMI, they sell uh, it not done tobacco. One company, Imperial Tobacco, decide to not sell, to not develop uh, it in tobacco. Why? Because it's not. Usually the four tobacco companies do the same. We are free to have the decision to have eaten tobacco, and Imperial Tobacco say, oh no, it's a lot, it's a loss. It's, 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 it's Imperial Tobacco, it's a little bit special. For example, I remember 20 years ago, we might uh, paid a lot for school prevention program, and for the official comment uh, of Imperial Tobacco, we don't spend money for such things. In Ukraine, they also fight between them that uh, the Imperial Tobacco support, Ad Valorium taxes, Philip Morris supported. Uh, so it's. Uh, uh, maybe, you see, it's, uh, I really hope that they lose money with ICOS. And maybe people in Imperial Tobacco can calculate better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let it be. So, actually, it's, uh, for Russia, it's also not very affordable thing. So, what uh, Philip Morris does is it offers a test drive for one week. You need to buy one or more ticks, and they give it to you for one week, hoping that you just stay there. So that's how they do it. But it's a, see, it's that is it such price is affordable for uh, people somewhere in Penza? Uh, I heard one taxi driver who was uh, doing that. So well, they just hope that people are, will like it so much. Or they forgot uh, to turn it off and uh, keep the money, something like that. Hi, I had a question of clarification back here. I thought I heard you say that um, Japan is prohibited e-cigarettes. Is that what you said? Yes. And could you just elaborate on that a little bit? Um, so what the rationale is and how they actually have done it? Because nicotine is a poison. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. So, so there are, so they actually pass legislation that prohibits it? You see, actually, if you read the report, 30 countries in the world prohibited e-cigarettes. But in some countries like Brazil, it's prohibited, but it's possible to buy. So <laughs> maybe it's not um, regulated. But Japan, if it's, if it's a law, it's a law. <laughs> Maybe you see it's uh, <coughs> um, I just thank, thank you so much, Constantine. I just wanted to um, remark that price is actually part of the marketing strategy of the tobacco industry. And I'm losing my sheet here. Um, and I think it's important to look at taxation as a tool to blunt the, the, the sharpness of their marketing tactics and the promotion. Um, just, just a comment. That yes, of course, it's, the market industry uses pricing policy. And so I invite you for a session where I make presentation for tomorrow how to organize to use pricing policy in Ukraine. Uh, to uh, reduce impact of taxation. Yeah, but I'm, I'm thinking that beyond the, the marketing is about luxury products, the marketing is about fancy, the pricing is clearly yes. according. Um, but, you know. So I have, I'm going to make the last comment um, because we have to leave the room. It's uh, three minutes before three and we, we need to leave the room for mm -hmm. the next session. Uh, I just want to comment on one thing about research and development. It's uh, uh, tobacco companies, uh, large tobacco companies use uh, a lot of money into research and development. And just in one year, the price of ICO actually dropped by more than half. So we need to keep that in mind when we think about the payback period or the cost in the long run of those devices. They are not going to be that expensive you know, about four years from now because of that research and development that is going on uh, by the tobacco industry. Thank you again very much for our session.